there's various duties. You got gate duties, managing deliveries, checking visitors' passes, escorting visitors. You got security duties. You got watching CCTV. You can never tell. It depends where you're working. So I could be in the gate dealing with people coming in vehicles, people working coming in. I could be in reception dealing with property, with prisoners. Currently I'm mostly in the search area, um, searching people and uh, their property. It varies really. You can have a day that's completely quiet, <laughs> but on a typical day you could be one minute it could be nothing and then all of a sudden you could have a code be called which is, requires an ambulance and be running your socks off to make sure that that gets there to the person that it needs to get to as quickly and as safely as possible. Being aware of your body language and you do get some people that come in that are automatically angry or you know um, and you have to deal with that but you're not alone, you do have colleagues to help you. You have to make sure that you're going to be happy um, working with a lot of different people on a daily basis, making sure that shift work is something that you're interested in and also the possibility that if something, an incident was to occur that you possibly wouldn't get out at your finished time of your shift. As an OSG, I mean, as I said, you're doing a variety of things, but you can move on to be an officer, which they've got fast track. There's so many different paths you can take. You can either progress from an OSG into the admin side of it, so that'll be ununified and moving up the bands, or you can become a prison officer and then eventually climb the ranks to SO, CM, maybe even governor. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. It's a good place to build a long-time career. Pension's very good and so it could be a job for life for some people.